My name is Brad Forder. I'm programming director for the festival and we're joined by Eric Bendick and also Danny Schmidt. And also we have a special guest too, uh, Sylvie. And Danny, how old is Sylvie? Sylvie is five months old and this is her first appearance on a recorded Zoom. She, she FaceTimes with grandma and grandpa a lot. So she's used to the, she's used to the screen. Uh, the new project, The Wild Divide, also based in Florida. Um, so welcome to you both. Uh, you both directed this. Um, Eric, we'll, we'll start with you. Just talk us through what took you back to Florida and, and how the project started for you guys. Sure. Uh, well, we have uh, been on and off in Florida for, for quite some time, um, really uh, almost 10 years. And for me, there is a little bit of a homecoming aspect to it because um, I did, uh, grow up partly down there and I still have family and and relationships and and a lot of friends down there so anytime I get to go down um it's always a privilege and I think um the deeper we get into these Florida projects a lot of people are kind of like at at first they're kind of like mystified by the fact that there is uh, a lot to do in the natural world down there um but it just keeps kind of pulling us back in. Um, you know, I did, we did a project last year with uh, ghost orchids and down in the Everglades. And then this project took us to an area of Florida called the Lake Wales Ridge, which is equally kind of imperiled and has some super rare and interesting things going on. And so each area of the state is a little bit, um, unique and I think has kind of its own charm and uh, magic to it. So there's just been, there's just been a lot there. Um, and it's also really under threat. So that's part of it. Well, and that's, and, and Danny kind of pick up on, on that note too, because I think that was one of the interesting stats at the end of the film was, you know, 85% of, of that Lake Wales Ridge area has been developed. You guys captured it with drone footage. It was interesting to see that perspective of, of the way everything's developing and the sprawl. Uh, but yeah, Danny, what were some of your takeaways too after spending time in that area, just about the urgency of, of protecting that land? Yeah, well, I mean, this is a, a stat that we repeat often in these films. And when we talk about Florida, the, the fact that a thousand people move to Florida every day. And that, that, net, that number is pretty staggering. And one of the things that I've learned a lot in the last couple of years of working down there is just the, the value of these agricultural lands in preserving biodiversity and habitat for a lot of these species down there, critically endangered species. And so... Um, we spend a lot of time on these ranches when we go down there and film and, and working with landowners that um, are, are committed to keeping, <laughs> keeping ranch land intact. Sorry, a little spit up there. Keeping ranch land intact, uh, both, both for their own livelihoods and because they realize the value of, of this biodiversity. So that, that's what I've learned. It's just there's an incredible amount of conservation-minded folks down there. Well, and also another thing I wanted to talk about, because you guys have both shot, you're both cinematographers, uh, and, and you've shot in many different locations, conditions. Um, take us behind the camera a little bit, too, and talk about some of the logistics of, of filming, because for this, you guys were on foot and horseback and paddle boarding. Uh, talk through a little bit of that in terms of the filmmaking logistics um, over, over almost a week of, of shooting. Sure. Um, you know, I think um, both Danny and I have... have shot on a lot of different projects and the projects that are really fun for us, but also really challenging are these expedition films. Um, I say it's kind of like drinking from a fire hose because you literally are um, working 20, 20 plus hours a day trying to work out logistics um, sometimes the last thing on your mind is um, really about like technical prowess because you're just trying to hang on and um, stay with the group and kind of keep everything going and the coordination is super intense. Um, but then you find yourself in these moments um, that are super cool, just super genuine, authentic. You're kind of thrown into them and you're just like, wow, that 
that just happened and it was so spontaneous and cool. Uh, so I think that we're both drawn to that. And I think um, for me in particular, it's kind of those moments that you never could have orchestrated. You know, you spend so much time in film with pre-production and trying to make everything as controlled as possible. And then boom, you're out there in this expedition mindset and you're just like, okay, whatever happens is good. And it's kind of like improv comedy. Like you're just saying yes to everything as it comes and, and hopefully you have a film at the end of it. Yep. So. Yeah. I, I would just say for, for the, for the filmmakers out there that are sort of interested in the, in the tech side and, and the logistics of pulling this thing off, <laughs> like, like Eric said, I mean, so much of these expedition films and, and doc film in general is just about, be, being there with at the right time with the cameras in the right place in focus with good sound and um you know this trip required us to have gear that was packable so we shot on you know cameras that we could that we could pack into the swamp and that were lightweight and um you know battery power that we could rely on throughout the day and um and also sound you know having having everybody mic'd in a way that we were there to get the audio that was important because it's those moments that really sort of drive these projects and and keep the audience engaged well and you guys uh you met some characters along the way uh sticky steve for one i was just curious uh how did you how did you connect with with steve talk a little bit about your experience with him so steve is this legend um and he's just an incredible character and i had heard of him i mean literally there there was like lore about this guy sticky steve and i tried to it's kind of like well you know maybe there's an article maybe there's something about him out in the world and there was like one art exhibit where like everyone took his face and like made different sculptures and art like out of macaroni like <laughs> about sticky steve and i was like this is it like this is the only thing i can find about him so i'm like okay we'll just have to meet this guy and he is he is such a legend he's you know a super warm and charismatic guy and really uh, Danny and I have talked about this he kind of deserves maybe his own project at some point because he's just he's just such a special character and his his um perspective on the world like not many people in that part of Florida live without air conditioning year round and he is he is old school like he he does it and he has he's got this crazy outhouse like it just goes on and on and um and then of course he's a great musician it's just yeah so honored to have met him and hung out with him and i feel like i want to go back sit on his porch right now before we do wrap up, um, is there anything else you all would like to add just about the film, the experience, um, any other um, takeaways? Well, I, I guess I would just like to say I, I'm, I feel really grateful to get to go to Florida several times a year and work on projects that matter. I, I don't otherwise have any connection to the place. I didn't grow up there. I don't have family there. And I think for a lot of people, they just sort of write off Florida as just being hot and crowded and paved. And there's a lot of that. Um, but there's also these just absolutely wild places and people and uh, areas worth protecting. So don't write it off. Go go visit and see these places for yourself and and know that there's a the adventure is easy down there. It's it's not easy to do, but it's easy to get into and um, it it's pretty accessible. And uh, yeah, just I'm just that's my plug for Florida. Uh, uh, I would I would echo that, and I would also say um, we have another project in the works. Um, Danny has been the cinematographer on that project as well, and um, we're pretty pumped about it. Um, so more news upcoming on that, um, but we will keep you guys posted. Absolutely. Yeah. And congratulations on uh, congratulations on thirty years. Thank you. Up and coming yeah. next year. Up and coming. No, we're looking forward to it and we look forward to that project. So please do keep us posted. Uh, and again, I appreciate your time. And, and uh, Danny, thank you for multitasking. Sylvia, it was nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. It's, 
yeah, we appreciate you guys. Thank you. And again, the film is The Wild Divide. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Brad. Appreciate Thanks for it. having us, Brad. Uh, looking forward to catching the festival online and in person next year.